Urbana, Ohio has been around since 1805 and has a historic downtown, as well as a historic background. This small Ohio town has a population over 11,000, in which everyone has their own tale to tell. There are many cornfields, an airport, a fair, A park, many churches, many schools, and a university. Also, there is Oakdale Cemetery, which has an amazing array of art. Art has always been important to this small Ohio town. Just, just through high school, I took a little bit of art in college, and then I dropped out of college. And, uh, I, I mainly paint with acrylics. Um, I a lot of times stretch my own canvases and I like collage work a lot. Um, I'm not really into realism that much. You know, a lot of people say that, uh, you know, pot inspires them to do art or, or inspires them to make music or something, but I think that as far as visual art, alcohol definitely um, makes me more prone to do, do some art because, uh, I don't know, but it's a different kind of art. It's, it's, kind of uh, throw shit at, at uh, the wall and um, break things until it becomes something that I like. Now the future of urban artwork is probably going to continue to be realism, I would suppose, which is what the majority of people around here like, so I would, I would venture to guess. You know, I can't say for sure. I've given away probably nine-tenths of my artwork that I've done. Um, a lot of times, you know, just, uh, I, I went to like a little thing where I painted portraits of people and then gave them the portraits. And, uh, but yeah, I've sold a few pieces, but nothing over a hundred dollars, you know, nothing, nothing major, nothing, uh, nothing substantial, but I would like to do it, definitely. If I could get a little more motivated, get out there. Well, I grew up down close to Dayton in a little bird called Medway. I didn't go to college for art. Art I took up after I retired. And uh, landscapes mainly, but I also do florals and I do buildings. In uh, 2005, I was invited to have my first one-man show at a gallery in Yellow Springs, and it was to be seen from our area. This is Mad River, up close to where it starts in Logan County. Uh, the scene here is a long river, but it's close to where I live. It's a fog scene in October with the mist coming in. It's growing. I think we have a lot of really good artists in Champaign County. Uh, we need to get out more and let people know we're here, and we're attempting to do that with the gallery here and the Art of Aaron Square. We started the gallery here in uh, this last December. <clears throat> it was brought up by uh, Pat down here at Paradisio. Uh, Pat Thackeray said he'd like to see something going on here and this was sitting empty, so this is how it got started. Well, it's hard to say. Uh, things seem to be picking up as we go along, so hopefully we're in for the long run. Do 
normal little pictures when, when I was little and, and I loved painting when I was in school, uh, got, whenever I got to paint at the easel. And uh, I've just uh, always painted and done, my mother was very artistic and as was her sister and my cousins and we lived them during the war because my father was overseas in France and uh, we did pottery, we did all kinds of things. But we drew all the time. We made our own paper dolls. I had four years of art in high school and uh, did lots of things like mastermind the floats and, and stage props, but um, I did a, a double major in college that was English and art. Mostly I paint for family and pleasure and um, I, I've gone to numbers of workshops and entered shows and met a lot of people. I do uh, watercolor and have primarily for a long time I also have taken up pastels in recent years and really enjoy them. And I've done oil earlier and um, I'm doing some oil work again, oil painting. I like to keep little records. I like to make cards for family and friends and uh, um, I like to garden. That's a big part of my art. Uh, I wish we had art in the elementary school um, and I I wish we still had the, the uh, Art on Main shop for the, for the Lawn View people because that was fun to be a part of. And um, I'm not sure that Urbana people are, well the Art Affair is wonderful, but we're, we can be very thankful for that. <laughs> it's um, something that is an inner, inner need to do. cherish my eyesight and I'm glad that I, I have it and um, I like to paint outdoors a lot. I, I love nature. I'm very involved with enjoying and appreciating and investigating and I have grandchildren that are too and that's, I spend time with them doing those things and encouraging them with their art. I grew up in Covington, Ohio it's a little town uh, just east of Piqua on Route 36. Moved to Urbana when I was entering sixth grade. Attended uh, Central Ward School, which no longer stands. I actually went to college originally at Ohio State for physical therapy to be an athletic trainer. And uh, I had a major in biology until I wised up and said I really would rather, uh, since I loved art, I'd rather teach art and make art also and switch majors and uh, still have a biology major from Ohio State with a strong art minor with a master's degree in fine arts. If you've gone to a university, uh, yeah, they put you through every uh, available bit of art that you can think of, which is good, which is right. And I made selections, obviously, and uh, I selected to basically oil paintings done in a very unique manner with wood blocks, which came after a, uh, a project at Ohio State with different ends in mind, but I always liked the idea of painting with blocks, especially as I was painting architecture because it had the same geometric characteristics. So uh, that mainly, that's what I've done, but I've experimented in concrete work, concrete art, and uh, uh, other, I've done a lot of other forms also for various projects around town and for myself. Uh, Champaign County has a marvelous uh, abundance of good artists, very good artists, very good people, uh, very fine artists. I don't know per capita, I, I would imagine it's as good if not better as most uh, counties in, in, in the state. Just, and genuinely good art. I did two, two basic subjects. I do uh, historic architecture preferably or I do house commissions for uh, individual or house uh, in art form. Uh, I always love the historic quality of great art, of great architecture. I like had this sort of second love of mine and uh, uh, wanted to give it the, uh, uh, my blessing basically in painting to draw people's attention to the great art we have around us. And then my other great love is football and I've done many, many football portraits uh, over the years from uh, mainly college to uh, pro, which I have some exhibited in the College Football Hall of Fame, which makes me uh, genuinely proud. Uh, I, those are my two loves, football and uh, architecture. Sort of interesting, really, sort of silly, but that's what it is. The art education part I love very much, so art education really came, came first to me. And then producing art was secondary. 
uh, which was good. I have not done any major uh, exhibits uh, except in universities. I've done some at Otterbein and uh, uh, Capitol and uh, schools like that, which I'm very proud of. So I'm, uh, I have several projects, three or four or five, going at uh, one time and in the future. So uh, I don't think there'll be a time that uh, I won't be paying for. But even if, it, even if uh, it's not accepted and uh, they don't commission me, I'll let them do it. I grew up in uh, Clark County, was born there, and um, decided that I really liked Champaign County and the old historical homes, so I moved here in 1975. I have tried many things. I've done uh, sculpturing, painting. Uh, right now I'm working in uh, doing uh, recycled wool into huge uh, rugs. Uh, using the Surratt dot method with the wool and uh, it's based on uh, historical tableaus of the Civil War. That's, uh, and I'm also doing a little bit of sculpturing and doll making and teddy bears which seems like a silly thing to say but a true um, designer bear artist uh, makes very good living. About 12 years I was sending bears all over the world to Japan, France. People would hire me to uh, design a bear to fit a wedding dress. I would reduce the wedding dress down. I have made bears up to four feet tall. Uh, we call them designer bears. Uh, I also uh, do um, historical dolls and I've, they have been sold throughout the United States mostly. When I first moved to Urbana, I did a picture that ended up at the um, White House and uh, the, uh, ten, uh, the uh, Capitol uh, in Washington, D.C. It was, a, again, a historical picture of a character from a movie called Roots, uh, Chicken George. I think it's uh, a, a very productive area. I find that the Champaign Art Council has tried very hard to make uh, people aware of the arts. Uh, of course, we have so many people are practicing artists in our community, which, which helps, uh, you know, keep uh, our, our town really a, a mega for artists. People come to see the art, and art on the square, I guess, is, is a good example of how everyone pulls together and shows their art at that time. I think it's going to get bigger and better because this is my last year of teaching and uh, I'm trying to, well I'm working with several people to have a, a show of these rugs that I'm doing that are um, a, kind of a historical value. Yes, I think uh, I'll be much more productive once I quit uh, teaching. I grew up near Troy, Ohio, in the west central part of uh, Ohio, on a farm. I have always been interested in art since I could first hold a pencil. I did my undergraduate work at Ohio University in Athens, and then my graduate work at Pratt Institute in New York. I was doing uh, pen and ink drawings, publishing books of drawings. I published uh, nine books of drawings, eventually 13 books. Some of them were not just books of drawings, some of them were history books that included illustrations. I've done Columbus, Ohio State. I've done Champaign County, Ohio, Miami County. The Smithsonian Institution gave me a book signing uh, in New York when I did the Washington, D.C. and Georgetown book. Uh, and that was a large sale. Then during my graduate studies, I uh, was invited to come back to Ohio as Ohio's first artist in residence for the Ohio Arts Council and the National Endowment for the Arts. So I've done work on sculptures from coast to coast. Um, primarily, they're centered in the Midwest. Uh, uh, most of them are actually in Ohio. Um, I have a talent for doing likenesses, so I can take a photograph from, uh, from the past, a side view and a front view of an individual, and sculpt him so that he looks lifelike or she looks lifelike. And I think that uh, since I have a gift for doing that, which comes from a lot of drawing and a lot of 
practice um, that has opened the door to the opportunity to do many of those pieces. They've been historic figurative sculptures, although the one that we're working on today is a 14-foot wingspan eagle, which is the mascot for Ashland University, and this is an eagle in action, landing on globe, the world globe. Very interesting challenge structurally because you have to keep in mind students may be sitting on the wings, and uh, you know it, it, uh, you don't want anyone to get hurt, or you don't want this sculpture to bend with a lot of weight on it. So it's been a challenge, been quite an interesting challenge. Um, and uh, we're gifted with many, many artists, and uh, hopefully that will continue. Hopefully there'll be a lot of encouragement on the part of the public buying their work, and a lot of chances for them to show their work so that uh, they can continue and will be encouraged to do more and more work. I hope to keep producing artwork, and I hope to uh, um, have every opportunity to uh, to share ideas and to interact with people. I love working with children. I love working with the public and public speaking uh, about the work. And um, I hope to get better at what I'm doing. I'm still learning. I'm still growing, expanding. I think there are vast new fields that are unexplored and uh, new ideas that, that need to be worked on and it would be very exciting. Uh, we had a, a festival going on in July for many years in Urbana and it uh, focused around sidewalk sales within food vendors and other vendors but and it was like a seasonal sidewalk sales and it was like a three-day event but it was starting to um, lose its enthusiasm and I think it's because the nature the type of businesses were changing in Urbana where we didn't have a lot of seasonal merchandise and so I said well perhaps it's time to rethink this and maybe focus on the arts because we uh, have an arts council of more than 30 years which supports the arts in the community. I think there's really uh, enthusiasm that's building and uh, we have uh, many who want to show their artwork in the uh, window exhibits that we have in downtown and then we have a new art gallery that opened up in Scioto Street and then even another local artist who opened up a, a working studio. The first year we had 38 artists and we were happy, very happy to have that many and then every year it's just increased slightly and we kind of like it that way. People have to park somewhere so therefore they're on foot but there, there are people who have never been in Urbana who are discovering uh, the arts and discovering Urbana and the attendance is, is very good in fact we have people from even out of state who came uh, one a downtown business told me that two women from Michigan heard about it some way and decided to come from Michigan to our event so I thought that was wonderful it amazes me how many artists we have in the county and in Urbana in fact um, two of our uh, eateries have artwork that is continuously changing so we really want to make the arts very accessible to our people of Urbana and, and fun. Well, I, th I think really Urbana is a very uh, different uh, type of town in, in that our, the layout with the square is, is different. And with our uh, a nice piece of bronze sculpture right there in the center of town, which is, I guess, an exceptional piece of art, you know, we just really um, are blessed with that layout. And then People like to come to small town for festivals. There were two people from Columbus who um, who were enjoying the performing arts and they told one of our committee people that they love to come to small town festivals. It's just a different pace. And I think the setting is very warm and friendly too. So I think we have a great future. Urbana, Ohio is an amazing art scene that would just keep growing larger and even more impressive. Thank you.